No, macro don't fit to do anything down there. Down south. In San Diego, you can catch 50 to 100 of them. I, this is my first time up north, so... So if you're wondering how I caught that smelt, I was using a sabiki rig. Very small size sabiki rig I was using. Sabiki rig size 4, that's up with the picture there. And sabiki rig size 3, that works too. And what I'm doing is I'm just casting it as kind of like 20 feet out into the water. Making sure that it's in the very surface of the water. I was using a size 2 torpedo and I was just literally jigging up and down, up and down, up and down until I feel um, a bite. As you can see, I am jigging up and down, not too fast, not too slow, in a medium pace on the very surface of the water. And you can see that I caught a fish using that. You can really feel the fish when you're jigging because it's in the top of the water. So you can just feel it kind of shake a little bit. But there you go, that's the first fish of the day. Uh, Jack smelt, they're really good eat eating. But yeah, that's all I did. It's the perfect way to, you know, bring your friends over there new to fishing because really easy to just catch them catch like 50 of them and it's just super easy so just bring your friends over that are new to fishing and just tell them how to jig and everything what i'm doing the video and you guys will catch a lot Ooh, that's a big one. Ooh, two. and look at that two smelt in the same sabiki rig jigging works come out here to pacific up here and just jig like crazy you'll catch a lot of them I do not know what's going on here. Either one, I'm just trying to traumatize the fish, or number two, trying to get the fish off the hook. I don't know what I'm doing, but clearly it did not work. A good way to take a fish off of a sabiki rig is to get tongs and actually like clamp the fish using it and you know remove the hook using your hands. Clearly I did not bring tongs, but that's all right. I wanna catch, I've been catching nine, no, I caught eight anchovies already, so. I kind of want to catch more of these anchovies because they're pretty cool. Oh, smell. Come on, chase, chase, chase. Eat more, eat more. Come here. No? Okay. Oh, there you go. Last minute catch. Oh. Well, another long smell. This is pretty long one. Right there. I actually have no idea why the smelt are bigger in NorCal than uh, Southern California. Maybe it's because they don't really have that much of predators there in Northern California. Because Southern California, there's like bonita that you like to eat it. I'm not sure. If someone knows in the comments, please put it down below. But yeah, I'm just kind of, you know, curious. Dad. Dad. Dad, 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 three. Oh, wow. oh my god. Three fish. Oh, my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I got something. Oh, yeah, okay. Two anchovies. You can also catch anchovy too. Um, anchovies comes in waves and smelt comes in waves so it's either one or the other but as you can see you can catch like five or six in one sabiki rig it gets crazy it, later in the video you'll see or in the next part but it gets crazy later on this is just the this is the beginning okay, so i currently caught three but one fell off which is a bummer but that's okay hopefully i can catch one or two again or maybe even three if I'm really lucky but so far today I've been lucky so that's a baby smell 
Another one, but small. Small. Oh. That's a small one. Another smelt, guys. Look at that. Right here. Smelt. Decent size. There you go, I caught a fish. Decent smelt, not too big, not too small. Just medium size. Caught two. To the next fish. This one's heavier though, this one's a decent size. Another one. Caught two already. There you go. Oh, the one caught me. That's okay. So I got another one. All right, guys. So that's it for the video. Stay tuned next week for part four of the video. Um, caught a lot of fish caught actually more fish combined than one and two so that's it stay tuned for part four